What's up guys, it is Jack from AchievementHunter.com. I'm in Times Square in New York City, here to check out some Crisis 2 stuff. So uh, yeah, come with me, we'll see what we can talk to and check out some cool stuff about this new upcoming game for the 360 and PS3. Here we go. So EA sent me down to Soho in downtown New York City, and I got to check out the uh, Crisis 2 game. We had a presentation, got to talk to a few people, and uh, see some really cool artwork they had scattered around, including a red versus blue dude. I don't know what's up with that. And uh, also a big statue, but I talked with the art director, and here is that interview. All right, I'm here with Frank Kitson. He's the art director on Crisis 2. And uh, first of all, the game looks fantastic. Can you tell me a little bit about how the game has changed from the first one to the second one, and sort of the direction the new art is taking? Well, the main thing is the setting, obviously, being in a completely different environment and who whole new set of challenges, uh, you know, the lighting. <clears throat> we had to bring uh, a lot of the key kind of jungle dappled lighting and, and the, uh, the strength of the first visual component and transfer it into the, you know, urban environment. Uh, mix it in with a lot more destruction, a lot more collateral damage. Um, so, yeah, it was uh, very challenging, but um, I think we're getting there. You cool. know? And I heard a lot about the, the term urban jungle in the game. How much does that influence your style of art in the game? Uh, it influences it a lot because the lighting uh, has to have uh, a lot of transition, a lot of upper light transferring down through the levels. Uh, the gameplay is very vertical now, so you need to have very much an impression of when I'm down low in the game, it's kind of like when you're on a jungle floor. When you move up through the jungle, the, the light changes, uh, the, the incident light is all very, you know, kind of influential in the gameplay. So there's a lot of factors that really influence, you know, the way the game looks and it's based on the heritage of the first game. And at what point in the game do you actually step in, or when, when they're developing the game, do you step in and start sort of influencing the way the art's going to go? Um, Quite early, really, because uh, <clears throat> the guys, uh, part of my team is uh, the concept team. So there's a visual development group uh, at Crytek. Um, there's uh, uh, another art director, Magnus Larbrandt, who's uh, absolutely all over the, the look and feel of each of the levels as they roll out. <clears throat> He's very much in tune with what the requirements are for the gameplay. Uh, so yeah, it's 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 early on. You know, you get you get concept art that has to reflect exactly what the mood and feel of the transitions of the story are. Uh, you, I mean, there are there are levels to come that uh, I can't really talk about at the moment. But <clears throat> the visual styling of the game is is very expansive. Um, you know, that's all I can really say at the moment. And, and at what point do you finally say, like, do you put a button on it and say, okay, I'm done with the game? Is it right up until launch, or how, how far away? Yeah, until they shut the lights on. <laughs> That's it. <clears throat> Just keep going until, uh, you know, at, in our view, we have a very good um, product, and, and the, the visuals, yeah, I'm proud of them. But in our view, it's 70%. You know, we, we're going to keep pushing it, pushing it, pushing it. And it's just, you know, it sounds a bit kind of um, cliche, but it is the Crytek way. Um, they just keep driving on the visuals. Everything can look better, you know, so uh, it's good. Well, excellent. Well, the game looks fantastic. We're looking forward to it coming out this holiday. Yeah, I, I, the only thing I can say is, I mean, playing it, uh, you know, just as an artist, I love the, the diversity and the, the range of, of visuals that we're achieving, but just a, the pure playing experience is phenomenal. I love it. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for talking to us and talking to Achievement Hunter. Yeah, cool. Thanks, guys. Thank you. So after that interview, I got one really cool exclusive with Mr. Crisis himself. So check this out. So I'm here with Mr. Crisis. So uh, how has your event been going so far? And are you excited about being in a sequel? You're that strong silent type, aren't you? I think I love you.